Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial, I will be showing you some tips and tricks for how to improve your camera 2D node in Godot 4. Tip number one is going to be changing your process callback to physics. If you've noticed your camera is a little bit jittery, uh, certain objects kind of lag a little bit, that could be that your camera is rendering via idle, which can cause a jitter, so you will get a much smoother effect if you change it to physics. Next, I will quickly go over smoothing. So if you go to position smoothing, you press enabled. This will be the speed that it legs behind your character. So for instance, if you move, the camera will take a second to catch up to the character. It'll lag behind a little bit. This can give a good effect for your game. And you can mess around with the speed, so that way it fits your play style for your game. Now if you want a little bit more control over the camera, you can detach it from your player node and give it its own script. In here you can go ahead and delete the starter code, add a on ready function, name it player, reference the player node. The reason why I use these two dots is because we are already in the root node. We need to reference the main by going up and then the player, which is right here. In the function physics process delta we can do one of two things here we can either set the immediate position to the player position this will make the camera instantly snap to the character or we can set the position to a lerp so we get lerp our position to the player position with a speed times delta. Now, as you can see, we have the smoothing effect we had before, but it, the camera is separated, so that way we can have more control over our camera down the line. We can also make a separate speed variable with at export variable speed. We can set the initial value to five, type in speed. And now in here, we can see that we have a editable speed variable. And finally, I will go over limits. So to view where our limits are, we can go to editor and draw limits. You won't be able to see them yet because they are very far away from our camera. We can set our left variable to now be to here. So if we press play, you can see that if we move out, our camera will not move with our player until we have left that limit. And this works for all angles. All right, I hope you guys found this story helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. If you have any suggestions for current or future videos, please also let me know down below. Otherwise, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.